So almost all of us have used GPS based localization service in some kind of applications like Google Maps or similar navigation applications. We also use it in various embedded projects. The most common hardware used by embedded enthusiasts is Neo 6M GPS module. This is a standalone GPS receiver usually used with a ceramic patch antenna. Now with the minimal setup, you can expect accuracy of about 5 to 7 meters considering you have placed antenna in the correct position and having an open sky environment. But eventually in some applications we need a positioning accuracy of about a meter or in some cases in the scale of centimeters. So in this video I'm gonna showcase you how does it feel to have a centimeter precise positioning service by using ZF9P multiband GNSS receiver module. Coming up. Hey guys, what's up? Varad here from Microcontrols Hub bringing you the best interesting projects and DIY tutorials. On this channel, we do a lot of embedded stuff. So if you're looking for a new idea for your upcoming project or if you want some technical help, then consider subscribing to this channel. I will definitely help you out and without wasting time, let's dive into today's video. Now please bear with me for a couple of minutes as we go through a little theory behind this technology. As we all know, GPS refers to the global positioning system is a constellation of satellites developed by United States Department of Defense. Originally, the GPS was developed for military use, but was later made accessible to civilians as well. Now, GNSS stands for Global Navigation Satellite System and is an umbrella term that encompasses all global satellite positioning systems. This includes constellation of satellites from GPS USA, GLONASS from Russia, Baidu from China, Galileo from European Union, and the list will grow soon. This satellite sends a time signal which is received by our GPS module to calculate its location that is latitude, longitude, and altitude or elevation. The advantage of having access to multiple satellites is obviously redundancy, accuracy, and availability of signal all the time. First, those satellite systems don't often fail. But if one fails, GNSS receivers can pick up signals from other systems. Second, also if line of sight is obstructed, having access to multiple satellites is always beneficial to get an accurate location parameters. Now, if we configure the ZF9P module in RTK mode, we can achieve a centimeter level accuracy. RTK, that is real-time kinematics, is the technique used to enhance the precision of the position data. It uses a fixed base station and a rover to reduce the rover's positioning error. The base station transmits correction data to the rover. This is done by measuring the phase of the carrier wave in addition to the information content of the signal. Wait, are we discussing a lot about this technical stuff? Hmm. Okay, let's forget this and move out for the practical comparison of these two boards. To do the comparison, I decided to go for a run where I usually go for morning walk, where we can get a good satellite signals because of the nice open sky. Then on one side, I connected the Neo 6 and GPS module to Arduino's USB bridge to my laptop and on the other side, the ZF9P application board. Then I made sure that both of the antennas are facing in correct direction and started walking on the path. Man, it is too cold out here. Anyways, after covering the complete ground, I exported the data in KML format and what I found was astonishing. So this is the circular path which I have opened in Google Earth Pro software. Now let's first import ZF9P board's data which was collected without RTK corrections. You can see the red line stays well within the path. You can see a little variations in some points but this is a quite good performance as the width of the path was somewhere 5 to 7 feet. Now here comes the Neo 6N GPS module. The location points are just roaming around the path. I know it's not a fair comparison to compare these two boards as the type of the controller and type of the antennas are way different. But the point over here is, before couple of years, getting a centimeter level accuracy was an imaginary concept. People were using very high gain antennas for it which was costing thousands of dollars. But now we have it at comparatively low price and which is very easy to configure. This opens up a wide variety of applications for the users. One of them is a stylus pen on the earth. Yes, you can use this stylus pen on the earth anywhere provided you have a nice open sky to get a good satellite signals. 
to test this out i went to the parking area firstly i wrote u b l o x in small area where a car can be parked then i used stick on which the multi band gnss antenna is attached on the bottom as showed the results are as you can see really extraordinary you can trace each letter u b l o x if we open it in google earth pro we can see the size of the car and it gives us better understanding of the accuracy that we can achieve again this data is captured without rtk corrections in next video i will demonstrate how you can get started with this board all necessary information tools and important steps also we will have a look at how we can use rtk corrections to get centimeter level precise accuracy so if you found this video helpful then click on like button as well as share it with your friends and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to get notified for upcoming video until then take care i'm your host vk signing off